This is six time IFBB Bikini Pro Champion, Brina Martinez, and I take ZMA5 to make sure that I get the zinc, magnesium, and vitamin B6 needed to keep my immune system healthy and snack strong. Marcus Hayes, Fight Hub TV here with the one and only Badu Jack. Badu, what's going on, man? How you doing? Good, I'm good. How are you? Oh, we are here, man. We just witnessed Caleb Plant and uh, Canelo, the press conference. It got a little touchy, man. Literally, it got touchy. We saw Canelo and uh, Caleb Plant actually exchange fire a little bit, man. What'd you think about that moment? Well, I mean, I was filming a little bit before, before I didn't get it on camera, but... Um, yeah, I mean, they was talking shit, I guess, you know, I'm gonna beat you, you're gonna be, you know, stuff like that, just regular trash talk, then Canelo pushed him, Caleb swung at him, and yeah, that, that was it. You know a lot about those moments, man, that face-off. Uh, I know that it's got to be an intense moment. How do you restrain yourself uh, when you see a guy uh, that's just as pissed off and wants to beat you as badly as you want to beat him? It's all about being professional. You know, they make a lot of money, so don't don't mess up the money. That's, that's my advice, but whatever, whatever. He said something about his mom, and I don't know. I don't know exactly what they was talking about, but it's part of the sport. What do you think about uh, the bout coming up November 6th? Um, no doubt Caleb Plant is in deep, but a lot of people think that he's got a chance. What do you think about it? He got the style to give him problems as far as he's a good boxer. He, he does a good mover, mover and he's fast, but Canelo got the experience and he's very fast and everything too. So <clears throat> we'll see. I mean, Teofimo, he beat... Um, Lomachenko, nobody believed in him, and he never had no experience on big fights. So, you know, he just got to believe in himself. I know Caleb, he believed in himself, and he can make it happen. And, and Canelo is a great fighter, too. I just hope to see a good fight, and, you know, I'm rooting for Caleb. No doubt, man. And a lot of people uh, don't know uh, how much of a warrior Caleb Plant is in the gym, man. I know that you've been in the gym with him before. Talk to me about uh, the way that he conducts his business in the gym. I mean, we got the same uh, strength conditioning coach. I know he's always in shape. He's very disciplined. He take care of himself. Now he got my nutritionist. The cooking is good food for him. So he's going to be on point. And um, yeah, I mean, he's a warrior. And uh, I wish him nothing but the best. No doubt, man. Shifting gears a little bit, we got Sean Porter uh, and Terrence Crawford. Uh, looks like we're going to get a fight out of those two. What do you think about that? Well, it's a good fight, too. Uh, I like both guys. Sean is my neighbor, actually. We live on the same street. He's like a couple of houses down. Oh, cool. You no, know, that's my boy. Um, I like I, I like uh, Crawford too. He's one of the best pound for pound, in my opinion. So same that, same thing there. I, would, uh, I just want to see a good fight. Absolutely. And lastly, Badu, what's up with you, man? When can we expect to see you back in the ring, brother? Um, I'm uh, hopefully I'm going to announce it soon. Hopefully. Uh, be back in November and in, in, uh, maybe in, in the Middle East. Anybody? Do you want anybody in particular? Um, the thing is, I'm moving up to Cruiserweight now. I'm trying to get a title in the third weight class. So, so anyone of the champions I want to fight. Excellent. Anyone of them. Excellent, man. Well, here we go. Fight Up TV. Marcus Hayes here with Badu Jack. Thank you, Badu.